as a defensive guy, as a linebacker, how much fun would you have playing linebacker in Jim Schwartz defense that you saw with the Browns last year? No, oh, man, I think I'd have uh, too much fun. <laughs> I honestly, I believe that um, when you think about what Jim Schwartz did in his first season as defensive coordinator, um, Miles Garrett was the defensive player of the year. That kind of shows you how quickly the guys were able to adapt. Uh, I saw James Awusu Koromoa and what he was able to do um, in his first time in that defense. Guys played, I thought, above their where they've been at. They played to a level of football that I really thought doesn't get talked about enough in Cleveland. Uh, I think that you really talked about the offense and obviously you know, having to go through the quarterback situation and Joe Flacco kind of saving the day. But I thought it was the defense that really held together and really helped this football team throughout the season. And that's why I thought that, hey, look, if I could play for this defense, I know Jim Schwartz would have me in the right position to go out there and make some plays. Um, as a defensive guy, second year, same system. Do you expect, I mean, can we expect it to get better? It was really good. Can we expect it to be better? Oh, yeah, it's going to get better. And because it'll get better only because you have guys who have been in the system. They understand the scheme. They understand where they need to be at. And that's the one thing about the NFL is that when you are in, in a system, and I can probably say Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, they've been together for a long enough period of time, but they know how each other thinks. And I think that's how the players are going to be this year. They know how each other thinks in terms of what calls you're going to get on first down and second down. And in third down, it's like, hey, let's, let's line up and go get after the quarterback. So I think the sky's the limit. I think this year you're going to see more turnovers, right, more takeaways. You're going to see, you know, more uh, sacks of the quarterback. Because now, last year, you may have like, okay, I know it a little bit, but now I know it fully, which you just go out and play like your hair is on fire. You know, the, the big thing that everybody was concerned about, the big plays, do you think that was a, a factor of kind of not completely understanding things? Well, you want to eliminate those explosive plays, and that's something that they dealt with. But I think the bigger part of this whole situation is that now you know where the weaknesses are in some of the defenses. Not every defense is going to go out and shut anybody down. There's always a weakness. But when you know your weaknesses, you know how to make sure teams – you don't allow teams to get to that weakness. And so what does that mean? That's making sure that you're sounding your coverage, sounding your communication. It's going to be that much better next year. And that's why you won't see some of those bigger plays happen. And that's why I'm thinking there's going to be a lot more takeaways too.